This video will walk you through how to complete the Temporary Emergency Funding Adjustment Form. This form is used to make changes to the information you previously submitted on your monthly Temporary Emergency Funding Reporting Form. Please be advised you only need to complete an adjustment form to report if your facility changed between open and closed during the month or to adjust the number of enrolled and drop-in space children for the Child Care Fee Reduction Initiative. Please submit adjustment forms between the 1st and the 15th of the following month. For example, submit the May adjustment form between June 1st and June 15th. To start, you will log in using your primary business BCE ID and facility ID. Your facility ID is the last five numbers after your organization ID and can be found in Schedule A of your 2020-2021 funding agreement. For example, I will type in my BCE ID a hyphen, and my facility ID with no spaces in between. To make adjustments for multiple facilities, you will need to complete a separate form for each facility. On this page, you will be shown the organization name, organization ID, facility name, and facility ID to indicate which facility this temporary emergency adjustment form is for. On this page, you are asked about your facility's open and closed dates for the month of this adjustment form. There are four different options. Select the first option if your facility was open on the first of the month and remained open for the whole month. Select the second option if your facility was open on the first of the month but then closed during the month. You will need to select the date your facility closed from the drop down calendar. Select the third option if your facility was closed on the first of the month and remained closed for the whole month. Select the fourth option if your facility was closed on the first of the month but then opened during the month. You will need to select the date your facility opened from the drop down calendar. Complete this page if you opted in to the Child Care Fee Reduction Initiative and you need to adjust the number of enrolled or drop-in space children you reported on your previous temporary emergency funding reporting form for this month. If you did not opt in to the Child Care Fee Reduction Initiative, leave the boxes below blank and move to the next page. If you have previously reported enrolled or drop-in space children this month, your numbers will be displayed below for your reference. If no changes to these numbers are required, leave them as they are and click Save and Continue. Please note that it's important not to delete or change these previously reported numbers unless they are incorrect, as this will change your payment. To make adjustments to your enrollment or drop-in numbers, follow the instructions on this page carefully to ensure accurate reporting, as incorrect reporting may result in an incorrect payment or an amount going back to the Ministry. To report changes to my monthly totals for the Child Care Fee Reduction Initiative categories, I will start by opening the CCFRI Monthly Calculator, by clicking on the download link at the bottom of the screen and then selecting Enable Editing to use the calculator. Using the calculator, count each child for each day they are enrolled or drop in. You can count children who are absent as long as they have not been temporarily withdrawn and the child continues to be enrolled in the facility for the month. For this example, my facility was open for the entire month. A reminder that if my facility had closed during the month due to COVID-19, I would only count enrolled or drop-in space children on the days my facility was open. In the under 36 months, four hours or less category, I had one new child drop-in attend part-time this month. This child attended for three hours a day on Mondays and Tuesdays from the 20th onwards, so I will count them in this column from the 20th onwards on Mondays and Tuesdays. I previously reported that I had two children enrolled full-time in the under 36 months over four hours category and I have no changes to report for this category. I can either count these children for each day of the month that I was open and operating or I can skip this category in the calculator and leave the previously reported numbers on the form alone. For this example, I will recount these children just to be sure. In the three years to kinder over four hours category, 
I had three children enrolled up to and including the 15th. So I will count three children to the 15th. One of these children withdrew on the 15th, so I will count two children after the 15th to the end of the month. However, I also had two children of essential service workers drop in from the 20th onwards. So starting on the 20th, I will add the two essential workers children from the 20th onwards. That makes four children in this category from the 20th to the end of the month. I can see at the bottom of the CCFRI monthly calculator that I have a total of four in the under 36 months, four hours or less category, 42 in the under 36 months, over four hours category. I had no children in the three years to kinder, four hours or less category, so I'll leave that category blank. And I had 70 in the three years to kinder, over four hours category. Now that I have these totals, I can return to the adjustment form and update my totals in the boxes at the bottom of the page. In the under 36 months, four or less category, I will enter four. In the under 36 months, over four hours category, I can see that it already has 42 in the box because that is what I previously entered on the TEF reporting form and I had no changes to this category. I will leave 42 as the total. I had no children in the three years to kinder, four hours or less category, so I will leave that box blank. And in the three years to kinder, over four hours category, I will enter 70. Now that I am done, I will click save and continue. The next page asks if you have any vacant or drop-in spaces available for children of essential service workers. An adjustment form is not required to report changes to vacancies, but if you are completing the form for another reason, you can update the number of vacant spaces you have at the time of completing this form for each applicable category. This information is used to match the families with available spaces. Since I have selected yes, I'll report that I have two vacancies in the three years to kinder category and leave the other fields blank. The next page asks if you have any changes to your license or service details that you have not yet reported to the CCOF program. If you select yes, the next page will ask you to upload a document and provide a summary of the changes. I have no changes to my license, so I will click no and then save and continue. This page provides you with a copy of the CCOF modification agreement for temporary emergency funding for you to review and save for your records. The next page contains the declaration that your organization's authorized signing authority must complete in order to receive temporary emergency funding. Please carefully review the declaration before clicking the box beside I agree, consent, and certify. Enter the full name of your organization's authorized signing authority in the completed and submitted by field. Select the submission date and click submit. The last page confirms that you have successfully submitted the TAF adjustment form for this facility. You will receive an email to the address we have on file for your organization with the summary of your responses. To complete the TAF adjustment form for another facility, you can click on the link here or use the original link that was emailed to you. You can also download a PDF with a summary of your responses for your records by clicking on the download PDF link on the right. If you have any questions and need any assistance completing the form, or if you have submitted this adjustment form with incorrect information, please call the CCOF program at 1-888-338-6622 and select option 2. Thank you for watching.